Hello viewers, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about National Curriculum Framework. NCF 2005 was prepared by NCRT. NCRT recommends arts, uh, physical and health education. NCF 2005 recommends that assessment of learner should be made an integral part of school life. NCF 2005 recommends that curriculum must enable children to find their voices, nurture their curiosity, to do things, to do ask questions and to pursue investigations, sharing and integrating their experience with school knowledge rather than their ability to reproduce knowledge. Approaches to curriculum development, subject centered, behaviorist, constructivist foundations of curriculum development the content and organization of curriculum are based on foundations these foundations for curriculum according to Albert Oliver are built to the following the philosophy behind education decision made the society and its forces affecting education the learner and how he learns NCF 2000 Guidelines for Curriculum Development Connecting Knowledge to Life Outside School Ensuring that learning is shifted away from road methods Enriching the curriculum to provide that overall development of children rather than remaining textbook centric Nurturing overriding identity informed by carrying concerns with the democratic policy of the country Theories of Curriculum Development Behaviorist or Association Theories Connectionism Thorndike Classical Conditioning Pavloy Watson Operant Conditioning B.F. Skinner Observational Learning and Modeling Bandura Hiratial Learning Gagne Cognitive Theories Cognitive Development Theory Piaget Berners Theory Guilford's theory, multiple intelligence, Howard Gardner, phenomenology, humanistic psychology, Gestalt theory, Maslow's self equalizing person, Roger's non directive and therapeutic learning, Lewis Roos value clarification. Curriculum development models The concept of a curriculum has always been a point concern among educationalists since the late 18th century. Many models of curricular development have been reported in literature. For example, classical model, also known as a perspective model, Tyler 9, 1949, considers curriculum development as a linear and logical activity, mainly focusing on four aspects. First one, educational purposes and desired goals and objectives. Second one, Educational experiences, instructions and contents which act as a means of attaining these goals objectives. Structure of the curriculum which provides the organization of learning experiences. And fourth one, assessment and evaluation, the process of determining learning outcomes. Tyler work shows an inclination towards Skinner's behaviorism and John Dewey's progressive education as he says since the real purpose of education is not to have the instructor perform certain activities but to bring about significant changes in the student's pattern of behavior it becomes important to recognize that any statement of objectives of the school should be a statement of changes to take place in the students Tyler model is also labeled as product model because some researchers considered his thoughts were heavily influenced by scientific management. Interactive model or instructional model or grassroots approach. Hilda Tava was born in a small village in southeastern Estonia. She was a student of John Dewey. She wrote a book entitled Curriculum Development. Theory and Practice in 1962 have presented a model 
also known as interactive model or instructional strategies model or gross root approach which mainly focuses on the planning of instructional strategies and considers it the basis of the curriculum design her model influences five mutually interactive elements of teaching and learning system objectives contents learning experiences teaching strategies and evaluative measures some of the innovative aspects of the tabas model include determining required objectives and related content selection and organization of learning experiences in accordance with specified criteria selection of a variety of teaching strategies and evaluation procedures and measures principles in tabas curriculum model according to hilda taba curriculum gross root model involves seven steps they are diagnosis of needs formulation of objectives selection of content organization of content selection of learning experiences organization of learning activities evolution and means of evolution wheeler in 1967 has presented a cylindrical model which has many similarities with linear and interactive models the key elements of this model includes initial situation analysis identification of aims and objectives contents selection and organization selection and organizing of learning activities and the assessment evaluation process worker in 1971 presented a descriptive model referred to as naturalistic by some scholars and also known as process model lawrence stenhaus in 1975 another advocator of process model defines a curriculum is an attempt to communicate the essential principles and features of an educational proposal in such a form that it is open to critical scrutiny and capable of effective translational into practice he suggests that a curriculum is rather like a recipe in cookery he says a curriculum like the recipe for a dish is first imagined as a possibility then the subject of experiment house 1979 proposed a student centered model in which the teacher acts as a facilitator rather than content authority according to this model curriculum development is an an ongoing process which is influenced by emerging theories and philosophies including theories of child behavior theories of teaching learning and theories of structure of knowledge eisner in 1991 model combines behavioral principles with aesthetic components to form a curriculum his model based on five core elements intentional structural curriculum pedagogical and evaluative some other models were proposed in literature includes inclusive curriculum learner centered curriculum macops and wisler 1997 spiral curriculum burner 1996 transformational curriculum parker 2003 internalization interdisciplinary project based learning students based learning curriculum mapping sir jacobs 1997 integrated course design fink 2007 etc science curriculum projects in india some efforts to improve science curriculum in india have been made after independence namely unesco planning mission of experts indian education commission unesco unicef assisted project in science production of supplementary reading material isharvai patel committee the ncert set up a working group in 1983 to make a quick appraisal of the curriculum load the working group submitted the report titled curriculum load at the school level a quick appraisal physical science education committee project pssc project this uh, pssc project was started at the Bachelor's Institute of Technology USA in 1956 this project improves physics teaching at a school level the materials prepared by pssc 
वेर ऑफ वेरियस काइंड्स लाइक टेक्स्ट बुक्स टीचर्स गाइड लैबोरेटरी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज अचीवमेंट टेस्ट एंड लो कॉस्ट एपरेटस एक्सेट्रा केमिकल बोर्ड अप्रोच द सी बी ए ऑर्गनाइज इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका इन नाइनटीन इट कंसिडर्ड दैट टेक्स्ट इन केमिस्ट्री एस्पेशली केमिकल सिस्टम्स केमिकल एजुकेशन मटीरियल स्टडी केम स्टडी This chemist project also दिस केम्स प्रोजेक्ट ऑलसो ऑर्गनाइज इन यू एस ए दिस प्रोजेक्ट इम्प्रूव केमिस्ट्री एजुकेशन इन स्कूल लेवल एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन एवरी डे लाइफ एंड इन इंडस्ट्री द प्रोजेक्ट डेवलप्ड स्टडी मेटीरियल इंक्लूड्स टेक्स्ट बुक्स टीचर मैनुअल्स टेक्स्ट सप्लीमेंटरी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड फिल्म एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल